Yo, what's good, y'all? It's the trail, and you know what, man? I know it took me like way too long to finally do this video, and I admit it. That's my bad. I just been focused on like 40 different things at once, worrying about that when I should just be worrying about focusing on one thing at a time. And now the new Galaxy books are about to come out, the Ion and the Flex that's about to replace this, and I had this thing for like six months now. But you know what? Since I had this thing for six months now, I feel like I had this thing long enough to break it in and all that good stuff. So this is it. This is finally here. This is my 2019 Notebook 9 Pro Consumer Review. Man, I ain't did none of those in a good minute. Let's get into it. Alright, so yeah, um, I mean, I'm back. All right, so listen, man, I know it's been like a good minute. It's been like three weeks or something like that since I like uploaded an actual good video that I sat down and edited and all that. Like a legit video. Like it's been a little bit now and I apologize for that. Like I said, that's my bad. So I, we good with that now. Like I'm back to this. And now I'm back with something that I really wanted to do was my 2019 Notebook 9 Pro review, even though the new Galaxy books coming out. Because it's still a good laptop. Like just because the new Galaxy books are about to come out don't mean that you shouldn't get this. And basically I upgraded, downgraded in terms of the price, but upgraded from the Surface Book 2. It was a nice little laptop. I like the whole laptop slash tablet thing where you can detach the screen and turn it into a tablet. But I just had way too many issues with it. And I was just like, nah, I ain't gonna do this. And that's why I'm here now with my 2019 Notebook 9 Pro by Samsung. So I mean, it might not have a detachable screen where you could just detach it from the laptop. But I mean, you can still flip it around like a regular 201 and use it as a tablet like this. It's just gonna be way thicker than how the Surface Book 2 do it. But if you want to, you can still go ahead and flip this thing around. You can go ahead and set it up as a standard like this like you don't really gotta worry about that if you want to use it as a tablet you can I accidentally just turned it off but yeah i had this thing for like about six months now and i'm not gonna lie like i've been feeling this laptop man as a samsung knight i think they did a pretty good job on this thing like i'm not even gonna lie now it ain't all sun and rainbows and everything obviously with this thing because there's some things i definitely don't like about it but i mean it's like cool overall i use this thing for video editing and i work on renovate if y'all know about renovate that's my website my business and all that that means i'm over here managing the website i'm over here making pictures on paint.net like i'm doing a lot of stuff with this a lot of creator stuff and this worked good for that so as a creator i'm feeling this thing and if you want to you can go ahead and go into the samsung settings and tweak the screen if you want to like i could get my auto mode i could change the color settings like there's a bunch of stuff on here that you could do and this thing come with an active pin. No, not an S pin. It's called an active pin. So basically with the active pin, it has a quadruple A battery in it and it kind of works like the Microsoft pin. But with this, you can't use it on like a Galaxy Tab or your Galaxy Note or anything like that like you can with like the S pin on a Note. You can use that on a Tab. You just can't do that with this Notebook 9 Pro. Now with the 2017 Notebook 9 Pro, this thing actually had an S pin. Like you could just put it right under here. But with this thing, they changed it all up and with the Galaxy Books, the S Pen's coming back. So whatever. So when that comes out, you can use the S Pen from your Galaxy Tab and you can use it on your Galaxy Book or your Galaxy Note. Same thing with the Note. You can use your S Pen on the Tab and the Notebook and the Notebook S Pen you can use on either of those. Whatever. You get it. You get the point. But you can't really store this thing anywhere. Like it's magnetic, but like you can't really put it in a reasonable spot. Like I could put it over here, but like it's not really going to stay on that well unless I just go ahead and put it up here. That's better or you could put it over here but those are like the only two spots like it kind of sucks but it is what it is now for me i'm not gonna lie i like the s pen way better that's why i'm like kind of glad they're gonna do that with the galaxy book flex because i'm gonna get that but the active pen is nice too it works exactly like the microsoft pen and a dell pen because it has two buttons in one so basically i can go ahead and click on the front of the button to go ahead and control whatever i need to do and i can go ahead and click the back of the button here to go ahead and right click so i'm gonna go and show you that right now so i'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this back button right right here and go and click on paint.net and then yeah there we go so you can see i just right click but let me actually go ahead and tell y'all what's going on with this thing so for the screen you get a touch screen 16 by 9 13.3 inch 1080p led display on the left side of the laptop you got two thunderbolt 3 ports on the right you got an sd card reader a power button slash fingerprint reader and you got a usb c port and inside you got an 8th gen intel core i7 mobile processor the 8565u you get 8 or 16 gigs of ram and you get 256 gigs of ssd or you get 512 gigs for the graphics you got an integrated intel uhd graphics 620 you got a 4800 milliamp hour fast charging battery it's bluetooth 5.0 and you got 50 cc's of spill resistance Whew. all right then that's enough i'm gonna be honest with y'all 
I didn't know half the things I just read. I'm gonna be real with y'all, okay? I don't really get that deep into computers. But I wanna go and talk about the things I like about this and the things that I'm not really feeling, I don't really like. And I'm gonna go and talk about the things I like first. So one of them is the design on this thing. Like y'all, when I first got this thing, I was just like, yo, this thing is dope. Like it looks nice, man. Because you got the diamond cut design as they call it. And that's something I'm really feeling about this. Like I really like that design. And it's just like really clean and minimal. Like I'm feeling the whole thing here. But before I upgraded from the Surface Book, I had this big old thing. Here. This thing came out in 2014 or something like that. And it's a pretty cheap model from Samsung. It's one of their Samsung notebooks. But it was like this thing was 125 on Facebook Marketplace. So I wasn't really complaining. And I really needed a new computer. So I got this. And I liked it. Like, I mean, I ran this channel off of this thing up until like July. June or July. Somewhere around there. So... This thing's still trooping. But another thing about the design is just look at those bezels, man. Like, they're basically not even there. Like, they're so slim. Like, that's modern, man. Like, I'm really feeling that. Like, you see a lot of laptops out here. They got, like, these thicker bezels and everything. I'm not really feeling. But with the Notebook 9 Pro, you got something like this. So, that's dope. And even with those slim bezels, you even got the camera still here at the top. So, you don't got to worry about that. It's not on, like, the bottom of the laptop like there is on some other laptops. I don't really get that. I don't know why they do that. But but that ain't for me another thing i like about this thing the build like this thing's sturdy like it don't creak or anything when you use it like this is a pretty premium laptop like you're paying premium prices so i'd hope it's premium but still but like the build quality this is the best you're gonna get out here it's all aluminum there's not a one piece of plastic inside except for the keyboard and maybe the trackpad i'm not sure what material that is but it feel good too that's besides the point but still basically you don't gotta worry about this thing breaking in like two years number three is portability so basically what i mean about that is that this thing is slim and light it's a good size for me it's 13 inches that's all they got though which kind of sucks but i mean that was kind of a good thing for me because like i had a 15 inch laptop as y'all know this thing is 15 inches but i was forced to go to 13 inches to get this and now like 13 inches way more than 15 inches but besides that like i said this thing is really slim it's really light like it's really light it's crazy how light this thing is and if you put it in a bag or something you're barely gonna notice it that could be a good thing or a bad thing if you worry about losing things a lot but i mean it's good for you it's not gonna hurt your back while you're carrying it in your bag all day but i mean like even look at the screen that thing is crazy thin and even though it's so thin, that whole build quality thing comes into play, so you don't even got to worry about that. Number four, the speed on here. So, all right, let me clarify some things first. Basically, most of my experience came from this old big old thing. This thing's heavy too, by the way, though. Like, listen to that. But basically, that notebook over there has a hard drive, and it's like a really slow hard drive. So, to go to this... That's a huge upgrade. This thing had an SSD in it and everything, and it's one of the fastest SSDs out there. And I don't know if it's made by Samsung or not. I'd assume so because, well, they made this. But that's why I think it's so fast. One reason is because of the SSD, but, like, it got a Core i7, 8th Gen, and everything like that. So it's just, like, it's, like, blazing fast. Like I said, as a content creator, I don't really got to worry about the speed on this thing because it got me. They got an 8 gigs of RAM model with 256 gigs of storage, or they got 16 gigs of RAM with 512 gigs of storage. I got the 16 gigs one, so I maxed this thing out. As far as I know, you can't upgrade this thing, though, so that sucks. So like five years from now, something like that, you want to upgrade this thing, I'm pretty sure you can't. But for now, we smooth. Like, this is good. I added 4K videos and everything like that. I'm editing right now on this thing in this video right here. But it does the job good. It has some lag when I'm editing in Vegas Pro, but it's still good. 1080p, you ain't got to worry about no lag at all. Like, that should be like your last worry. Number five, how well it works with the Samsung ecosystem. I'm not going to get too deep into that because I already did a whole video on the Samsung ecosystem, but check this out. My Galaxy Watch can unlock my notebook. My phone can unlock my notebook too, but I can go ahead and transfer files between them. I can get my phone calls, my notifications, and I can even turn on my phone's hotspot from the notebook. My Samsung wireless charger portable battery can charge this notebook. But there's pretty much really only one thing that's missing from this ecosystem is me being able to use the S Pen for my Note 9 and use it on my notebook, for example, or use a notebook S Pen on my Note or whatever. With the Galaxy Book, it got the S Pen, like I said. So you can use the S Pen on your Node or your Tab or whatever. But yeah, this is a good contender for the Samsung ecosystem, especially because Samsung Flow is more reliable on here than any other Windows PC. I don't really get why, but it is what it is. Number six is the keyboard and the trackpad on this thing. 
Man, the keyboard and the trackpad on this Notebook 9 Pro, guys, like it's crazy. Like it's so reliable and it's smooth and everything. Like I just, I'm, I'm really feeling it, man. So let me start off with the keyboard. So the keyboard, it, it don't got that much key travel. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I'm gonna let you listen to how the keyboard sounds on here. And the key travel, it feels nice. So it's not like the butterfly keyboards on the MacBooks or anything, but it feels good. Like, I'm re I am I like the keyboard, okay? Like, we got the point. Another thing with the keyboard is, and I hated this with the Surface Book, by the way, but this got auto brightness on the keyboard. So if it's light outside, the keyboard backlight won't turn on. And if it's dark, obviously it'll turn on. On the Surface Book, I had to like constantly change the brightness on the keyboard because I didn't want to waste battery or whatever, or I just couldn't see the keyboard because I turned it off earlier. As for the trackpad, it's using those Windows Precision drivers, so smooth scrolling, gestures and everything. Like I don't got any complaints with that. Like one of my favorite things about this is that trackpad. Yeah. All right, so next up, it's a screen on this thing. So this is a Samsung notebook, and it's got a Samsung screen on it. So I don't really think I need to get too deep into that because we all know that Samsung's good at making screens already. This is a Samsung notebook, and Samsung put their own screen in there. So I don't really gotta get too specific about that because we all know how Samsung do their screens. Like they make some pretty good screens. Like, do I really need to bring that up? So you get the same contrasty colors and everything. The screen is pretty crisp. It get pretty bright. It get pretty low too. And basically, typical Samsung. You can go ahead and change the settings, like I said already in Samsung. Samsung settings and make it more natural for when you're editing or picture editing what is that called photo editing and everything so you don't got to worry about the colors because like I said you could just change it in the Samsung settings but I already brought this up but the bezels on here is like just really slim man like that's one of my favorite things about this too and that just besides the trackpad the screen like there ain't a lot of laptops out here that's going to give you that full screen experience I don't even think the MacBook got those slim bezels yet I know the Dell XPS do though number eight is the active pen so the build quality on this active pen is pretty good like this is actually metal on here and yeah you can most definitely feel that's metal when you holding it but i mean if you're taking notes for college or anything with this active pen that's gonna be good for you for artists i know somebody did a whole video on that on this notebook 9 pro so if you want to go and watch that links down below because i don't draw i take notes okay and i don't even take notes that much so but the active pen is a go i just don't like the whole storage thing number nine is so samsung pre-installed apps so it kind of ties into the samsung ecosystem again but this didn't come with samsung pre-installed apps so they got some apps on here that you probably never seen before and they got some apps on here that just literally comes with your galaxy phone and your galaxy tab like we got samsung notes we got live message which comes on the note in the galaxy tabs studio plus which is a video editor we got voice no samsung gallery like samsung flow we got a lot of stuff on here and on the windows store they literally just released some new apps like smart things which ain't on here which i don't get that it's not supported on here because it doesn't have an arm processor which why samsung you know that literally makes no sense right that would be dope to have smart things out here when i first saw it on here i was like finally and then i couldn't use it so yeah samsung work on that i need that on here but they got pen up and everything on here too like that just came out so that's nice and then you got other apps on here like online support so basically this is your help center for your notebook and you can go to your samsung pc help and look at your articles or whatever but besides that you got like samsung update samsung recovery like you got a decent amount of stuff on here you can just uninstall all that if you want to though I don't know why you would want to uninstall some of these things, like especially like Samsung Notes or Galleries, something like that, because those are literally just pictures from your phone, your Galaxy Tab. They just sync throughout everything, so I wouldn't delete it. But the fact that they even made a video editor on here is interesting. Number 10, the indicator lights. So, okay, I know that sounds stupid, but if you have a Surface Book or had a Surface Book, you would know. I couldn't even see when my Surface Book was on or off. Like, I would just have to guess and just press the power button and see whatever pops up. So the fact that I got an indicator light on here now, like, I can sleep at night now. Number 11. I'm going to just stop counting with my hands now. The connectivity on here with the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth is pretty good on here. Like, the Wi-Fi speeds on here is pretty good, and the Bluetooth on here is actually Bluetooth 5, so that's really dope. Number 12. The fan on here is pretty quiet. I'm assuming it only has one fan. But like the fan doesn't really ramp up or anything. It stays off most of the time. And even when it is running, you can barely hear it. So that fan on here is a go. 
All right, time to get to the point that some of y'all probably don't want to hear, but some of y'all need to hear. And that's the things that I don't like about this thing. So the first thing is that the FN key on this thing is just annoying. So they prioritize the F1, F2, F3, all those keys right there, but they don't prioritize like the media keys, like the volume and the brightness and all that. And I like to keep that on, but let's say I want to go ahead and scroll with these arrow keys here. I have to go and turn that off and then do it and then go and switch back. Like it's just annoying. Number two is that the diamond cut edge on here is actually pretty easy to scratch. So mine's actually kind of dirty right now, but there's actually a couple of scratches on this thing already. And it's kind of hard to clean with this thing because if you grab like some of the fabric and try to clean it, it's going to cut the fabric. Like guys, this thing is sharp if you try to press into it with like a cloth or something. It's not sharp when you touch it, but it might be sharp when you're trying to clean it. Number three is that the graphics on this thing sucks. Like it only got an integrated GPU with the processor. Now that don't really affect my video editing, but I just want to put that out there. So if you're trying to play Fortnite or something on this thing, it's a no-go. Don't do it. This is really for power users that don't really game or anything. So I would just say put that all to the side and get some like, I don't know, the Odyssey notebooks that's from Samsung because this ain't it, chief. Number four is even though the speakers are like decently loud, they have like zero bass. Like it's a lot louder compared to the 2017 Notebook 9 Pro, but compared to like the Tab S6 or something like that, they don't match them, okay? I'm not really feeling it that much. Now with the Galaxy Book Flex, they got AKG speakers, so I'm hoping those are better. But on here, they just kind of suck. And number five, the Galaxy Buds have delay with Bluetooth on here. Now I had the Bose 700 headphones, whatever those things are called. They didn't have any delay, but with these, there's just delay for some reason. I don't know why, but it's there. So just know that. We'll see if it's there with the Galaxy Book Flex and the Ion. But all right, let's get into the last thing, that thing worth pointing out. Battery life. It's average, okay? It's not that good, but it ain't that great either. So it's just average. It got fast charge, you know? But yeah, I'm not that crazy about the battery life. Like, that's just how it is. Like, look how thin this thing is. Like, do you really think they could fit that big of a battery in it? But all right, so let's talk about the BIOS now. So the BIOS, it's pretty limited. It's one of those UEFI BIOSes. I really don't even know what a UEFI is. So basically, you can't install like Windows 8.1 or Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista or whatever. You're pretty much just stuck with Windows 10, but like I'm pretty sure nobody's really worried about that. I can't figure out how to hack and touch this thing, but you can't put Linux on it or one of those other OSs if you want to get into that. For me, I just pretty much just stick with what my stuff come with, if I'm being honest. And let's talk about the webcam on this thing. So this is the webcam and the microphones on the Notebook 9 Pro. So I'm pretty much just in my kitchen with regular light and everything. Cause like this is the ideal situation if you're using your webcam and microphone. But yeah, so this is the webcam quality. So what do y'all think about it? In my opinion, it's not really that good to me, but like what, what, what laptop is like, let's be real here. Obviously I don't know what the microphone quality sounds like yet. So I can't say nothing about that, but what do y'all think about it? Another thing worth pointing out, this has Windows 10 Home, not Windows 10 Pro. So if you want Windows 10 Pro, you got to upgrade Windows. Like you got to go into the settings, go to update and security, go to activation, and then you got to upgrade Windows. I don't really need Windows 10 Pro. Windows 10 Home is good enough for me. But some people might care about that. So if you want Windows 10 Pro, you got to buy it. Or if you don't want to buy it, you better go ahead and go on the Pirate Bay or something and find the illegal version. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. I won't lie, though. I do do it like all the time. Like, who do I look like paying for Windows? But yeah, Windows 10 Home. And one more thing. This isn't one of those one finger lift laptops, because if you try to do that, it's going to do that. I don't get what people's thing is with lifting a laptop with one finger, but I don't even care about that type of stuff. But apparently there's like some diehard people that need that on their laptop. So if you care about that, it ain't gotten it. Wait, what? That literally made no sense. If you want it, it don't got it. But yeah, I mean, like overall, I really recommend this thing. Like as a content creator, I'm really feeling this thing. Now, I don't use the SD card because I just record with my phone and then transfer over with Samsung Flow. But I can say as a content creator, like I said, who records 4K videos and works on renovate, editing pictures and making like graphics and all that stuff, it's good for that. If you want to game on this thing, that's a no-no unless you want to get like an external graphics thing, but I don't know how that works, so I can't tell you about that. But why isn't the fingerprint scanner working all of a sudden when they always do? Of course, things just want to break on video, and then of course, when I want to show the issues on video, it decides to work. That's how life works, kids. So that's pretty much all I got for y'all. That's my Notebook 9 Pro review. I hope it's good for y'all. I hope y'all learned a lot from this. 
and I'm gonna be keeping this thing even when I get the Galaxy Book Flex, I think. If I decide I don't wanna keep it, I'ma just keep it initially when I get the Galaxy Book Flex for comparisons and all that good stuff, and then I'll probably just sell it. But yeah, so do this thing get the Jennings stamp of approval? If y'all don't know what that is, basically do I recommend it? I got a whole Jennings stamp of approval thing, like you saw this, right? You saw the sticker, right? Like, come on, this is a whole big thing now. It started off as a Spotify playlist, which you should follow, so I'll leave the link down below. It got the best rap music in the game right there that you should listen to. Just a shameless little plug right there. But yeah, so what y'all think about the 2019 Notebook 9 Pro? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all. So thanks for watching. If you got any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. Trust me, I like I'll actually reply. Like I know there's YouTubers that always tell people to go ahead and comment on their video and they'll reply. Even though they never don't. Like, okay, like let's be real here. But yeah, so me and my notebook night pro will see you in the next one. Probably just me. But yeah, peace out.